back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided to film a haul for you guys. And I'm so, so, so excited because I received these products a couple weeks ago and I haven't had the time to film until now. So I've hardly touched any of the products to make them look as new as possible. So basically all the products that I got are not available here in Australia so I used a shipping service called Shop and Box. So basically what you do is you go on to www.shopandbox.com I'll leave the address on the screen if that was wrong and basically what you do is you create a wish list so you add everything to your cart and I mean everything is available on that website. Everything makeup and beauty related they will have on the website. So then you create a wish list. So then after you're finished, you submit done or you submit your wish list and then you have to wait up to 24 hours for your boxer, which is your personalized boxer that will go out in the US or wherever they are and buy all of your items and then send them to you. So then you can just message your boxer to and fro, they'll update you on when they ordered the stuff, when they've received the stuff, and then when they ship out the stuff. Then they'll ask you to pay for invoice one, which is the total of all the makeup products together. So then you pay that via PayPal and blah blah blah. It's all self-explanatory when you're on the website. And then after that, your boxer will then use your money to order the items online or if she goes out in store and buys them. So after that, your boxer will say, I've ordered all your items or I've got all your items. I'm ready to ship them out to you. And then that's when you pay for invoice two, which is the shipping from their address to your address. Before I move on, I'm just going to let you know how much invoice one was. So I paid $213.95 US. Dollars. And then my invoice to payment was $28.42. So I guess you guys are probably wondering how long it took for the items to go from the boxes to my address and it took three business days. It was express. It was amazing. It was so quick. I absolutely loved it. Before I confuse you guys even more, the three day shipping is only when all of the items are at the boxes house and they ship it straight to you, not the actual day that you um, order your items because it does take a few days um, for the boxer to collect all your items or if she's shopping online, it does take a few days, but I mean it's three days express shipping from the boxer's house to your house. So I just wanted to clear that up. So yeah, if you're thinking about buying a gift for someone for Christmas, um, it'll definitely arrive if you order within the next week because of the three day shipping. So Shop and Box were nice enough to give me a coupon code to share with you guys. So it is 10% off for the first 50 shoppers that spend above 150 US dollars um, at invoice one. So the code will be written on the screen but it's AUJAZZ50. So yeah, I think that's enough information for now and I'm just going to get straight on to what I picked up. Okay, so the first product I picked up is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I have the first one and I'm obsessed with it so I thought I would um, pick up this one. This one you can get here in Australia actually just from Mecca but I just thought while I was online shopping I may as well add it to my cart. So yeah, that is the first thing that I picked up. So the second palette I picked up was the Tartlet palette. I've been wanting this palette for so long now and I was so excited when this was available um, to purchase. Uh, it basically just comes with warm shades, a little bit of cool tones as well. I love the purples and the browns and the creams. I'll try to upload a tutorial featuring it. So yeah, that is the Tartlet palette. So next up, I picked up a highlighter and this is the Laura Mercier Indiscretion Highlighter. I wanted to pick this one up when it was available in Australia, but I was too late because it's limited edition. It is seriously like the most gorgeous like champagne-y gold color. I actually have it on now, if you can see it on my face, but yeah, definitely a splurge. It was quite expensive, but I wanted to get my hands on it for so long, so yeah, that's why I picked that one up. So next up, I got some Milani blushes because as you already know, Milani Luminoso is my favorite blush of all time, so I got a backup of that one, which just looks like that. And then I got the blush in Berry Amour, which looks like this. I'll give it a bit of a... A swatch. So that's what the blush looks like there. It's actually really, really similar to um, Luminoso. It's just a little bit more on the pinkier side. I absolutely love um, glowy blushes. So I'm so excited to try out 
Berry Amour. And next up, I got some ColourPop stuff. And as you guys, whoa, as you guys already know, ColourPop shipping is absolutely out of this world. It's like something like 50 Australian dollars or whatever. So I picked up some Super Shock eyeshadows, highlighters, and lippy sticks. So first, I picked up a blush in the shade Trickery, which is just a really, really nice pink color. I don't know how to explain it, but that is what it looks like here. I'm not usually a blush fan, but I just like kind of neutral pink colors. So that's why I picked that one up. And then I got the highlighter in Lunch Money, which looks like this. I'll give it a swatch. I actually thought this was powder the first time um, that I used it. So I used it on top of all of my powder and it kind of like it went all funny. So next time I use it, I'm just going to make sure I don't set my face. So that's what the highlighter looks like. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to try it again. And then I picked up two Super Shock eyeshadows. I'm wearing sequin on my eyelids today and oh my god, these are the most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever used in my life. And I also picked up Supermodel, which is a gold. I will swatch them for you. Okay, so this one's sequin, which is just a coppery color and seriously, that is what it looks like. And then Supermodel. Actually, no, this isn't the gold one. This is Supermodel, which is like a pearly highlighter color as well, which is there. And then this is the gold one, sorry. This one is called Get Lucky and it's just a pure gold. Like it is so pretty. That is what Get Lucky looks like on. It is seriously incredible. I've used these eyeshadows heaps since I've got them. Um, and I will probably do a tutorial on them as well. So, yeah. Lastly, what I picked up from ColourPop are their lippy sticks. Now, I've seen these all over Instagram. So, I was like, okay, I've got to pick up some because they're only $5 US. So, I picked up the colors Lumiere, Frenchie, and Tootsie. And... As you probably already know, Lumiere has become really quickly one of my favorite colors. So this is what it looks like swatched. It's just exactly like Brave, except a little bit more on the purplier side. I'm obsessed with it. And then Tootsie, which is more of a gray-y, beige -y sort of color, which looks like that. And then Frenchie, which is just a gorgeous blue-based red. So had to pick that one up. So that's what Frenchie looks like. Obsessed, I love them. Lastly, I picked up some eyelashes. Now these are the iLua Vegas Nay Collab eyelashes and they look like this. I'm so surprised that Priceline doesn't stock these because I know that they stock iLua, they just don't stock the Vegas Nay ones. But I'm gonna show you which ones I got. So I got Classic Charm, which are really, really natural. I don't know. I just wanted to pick up every single um, style. Um, these ones are called Easy Elegance, which just look really, really wispy like the Ardell Demi Wispies. Finally, I got Shining Star, which looks like this. They are amazing. They're double laid, which is what I like to wear personally in lashes. So I'm so, so, so excited to wear these. Actually, not lastly, I did also get the Grand Glamour Lashes, but I've already used them up. I've literally used them like 15 times already. I was like obsessed with them for like two weeks, but yeah, I don't have them anymore because they were all gross, so I had to throw them in the bin. But I would highly recommend Grand Glamour if you're really into like massive fluffy eyelashes. But yeah, they're the ones that I still haven't used, so yeah. So that concludes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.